How's it going guys? My name is Andrew and today we are going to do a small video on um, laptop performance and laptop specifications for SOLIDWORKS and this video is aimed at students so that you can decide what sort of laptop you need to buy for Varsity. So I'm at the University of Pretoria and I'm studying mechanical engineering and I'm going to show you what laptop I have. It's not a fancy one. Um, so here's the processor I have. Uh, it's an i5-7200U. It's an Intel Core processor. So the 7 stands for the generation. It's the 7th generation. The 200 is the SKU number. And generally, the higher that is, the better. Uh, and then the U just stands. Most lap a lot of laptops have the U. Uh, that means it's... Um, ultra or not ultra it just means it's low low power consumption and then the cpu has 2.5 gigahertz that's the clock speed so what this computer also has or this processor also has is a feature called turbo boost which means that when the cpu is under load it turbo boosts and it increases the clock speed and it goes up to 3.1 gigahertz here yeah. So that's quite important. Um, SOLIDWORKS is a single core processing program, or whatever you want to call it. Basically, what it does is it uses one core. So the thing you're looking for in terms of processors for SOLIDWORKS is a high clock speed, um, not particularly more cores. You want to focus on high clock speed, and if you can get a processor with Turbo Boost, that's a big benefit. So. I'm going to leave this on the side. I'm going to open SOLIDWORKS and do some drawings. And you can have a look at how the CPU is doing. Note that I've also got a integrated graphics card. So it's not a dedicated one. The dedicated ones like the NVIDIA and uh, some other ones are for special rendering and stuff. And you don't really need one. It, it will, If you can get one, that's great. But you don't really need it. I've got a... Intel HD Graphics 620 and it seems to handle really well. And then I've got 8 gigs of RAM. I wouldn't suggest going anything less than 8 gigs. You might get away with 4, but I think you will struggle. So, yeah, so that's my laptop's performance. But uh, I'm going to do some drawing quickly and then uh, and some simulations. And you can have a look and see um, on the left here. You can watch how these things perform. So let's make a new drawing quickly. And we're going to do a simulation as well. So, so I just paused it there quickly. You can see that the disk, because it was taking long, it's the first time I've opened it. So the disk jumps up like that. I've got a hard drive. So um, hard drives are generally uh, slower than solid state drives. So if you can get one with an SSD, a laptop with an SSD, it'll make your startup process and your loading process initially much quicker. So you can see that the disk speed jumped there. Uh, an SSD would be a lot faster than a hard drive. Okay, cool. So you can see that the normal speed sitting at about 1.3, 1.2, 1.4 sort of range. So now I'm just going to draw an I-beam quickly. Okay, we're going to sketch line. Let's make this a center line. Okay, let's add in some relations. We'll make these two guys equal. Okay, we'll take this thing and that thing. Well, actually, let's take the midpoint there and this one and make them midpoint. Cool, and we can take these two as well, make them equal. There we go. Make these two equal, although I'm sure they already are. <clears throat> but there's no harm in it. 
then uh, what we can do is we can make some smart dimensions okay let's make that 70 okay we'll make the web 8 let's make the web 8 and let's make this here 10 okay cool so now that we've done that now we can just do a mirror entities and we select all of those cool and we're going to mirror about this line here cool <coughs> There's our drawing. It is not fully defined though because we have not defined that. So, smart dimension, let's say 50. Well, that's fine. Okay. <clears throat> that's not a perfect sketch, but anyway. So, now we're going to, if you have a look here, 8%. 23% it handles quite nicely. If you see now, we're going to use an extruded boss base and we choose the sketch. Okay, let's make it two meters. I'm in millimeters here. <coughs> we say yes. Cool, so there's our guy there. Now we are going to add some small fillets in there. Let's make them two millimeters and we choose the edges there. There. And actually make them bigger than two millimeters. Maybe three. Let's have a look here. Three millimeters. Cool. So that's our R beam. Okay, so that's our drawing. As you can see, the the um, clock speed is still even under 2.5, which is the normal. So when we do simulations, you'll see this will probably jump up. And I'm using 3.4 gigs of RAM, and that's with Task Manager open as well. And the graphics has not changed much. So let's go and SolidWorks add in the simulation is clicked there. So we've got a simulation. And we do a new study. And uh, in engineering, specifically mechanical engineering, you would generally do a tux anyway, my experience, static. Um, you do topology optimization, which is a topolo topology study. Uh, we did buckling, fatigue, and you might even use some of the other stuff. But uh, yeah, let's move on. Okay, so we're going to do a static study. So. You can either define it here or at the top, but let's define it at the top. Apply material. Okay, we can choose alloy steel is fine. Apply, close. Okay, you can see that it's changed color there. Let's see if we've got we've got real view graphics on. Okay. Uh, note that um, SolidWorks has a number of recognized graphics cards. Uh, and if your graphics card that you have is not recognized, you generally can't use this feature here, real view graphics. You'll press this and it just won't be here. Um, with a lot of graphics cards, there is a workaround. You can get yours to be recognized. You go in and change the registry of SolidWorks. It's a bit of a mission, but um, yeah, if your laptop doesn't have a recognized graphics card, you can still use this. You just have to show SolidWorks basically the graphics card by changing it in the registry. Um, but yeah, otherwise, if you can go on the websites, they've got a list of registered graphics cards. Uh, you can maybe choose your laptop based on that, and then you don't have to go do that whole thing. I'm going to turn this off though, makes the load on the graphics card bigger. Okay, so then let's do uh, add some fixtures. Okay, we we'll fix the surface. Uh, fixed geometry, fix that surface, yes. Uh, let's move that out the way. Okay, then we can apply a load, we'll apply a force, and we'll apply.
required all along the top. Cool. Uh, for a 800 kilogram person times roughly 10 is going to be 8,000 Newton meters. Okay. So we're just going to pretend that something of 800 kilograms, a little bit over 800 kilograms, is distributed along the top of this. Okay, and then mesh, and now we can run the study. So take a look there, it's jumping 2.4, 2.5. It's actually doing really nicely. Usually it goes up to 3.1 straight away. <clears throat> there's your 3.08, and there's my results. Cool. So, if we look at show, there's our stress, and you can see the CPU is now really starting to work. The memory is chilling, the GPU is also not struggling whatsoever. So. With the basic um, static simulations, um, if you can get an i5 with a high clock speed, a, if you can get a solid state, it would be amazing, and a regular Intel um, integrated graphics card is perfectly fine. So I hope that today has helped. If you have any questions, you can comment below, um, and I'll try and answer them. Uh, I'm not a genius with this, but I've done my own research, and... I actually got this laptop before doing my research and I was lucky that it has the turbo boost but if I can suggest one thing if you can get an i5 with turbo boost and um, yeah that's basically it if you can get an i5 with uh, the turbo boost feature um, you should be able to handle most things in SolidWorks and 8 gigs of RAM minimum 12 will be even better 16 I think is overkill for anything you're doing in uh, in engineering uh, as a student but uh, yeah if you can get all that stuff amazing go for it but i'd say cpu with a high clock speed and turbo boost um feature would be perfect so yeah hope this has helped uh, cheers